Well, 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 it's just another glorious day in China, Guangzhou, China. There is one topic people cannot get rid of in China. That's the internet censorship. So, hey, my name is Lei. Today, I would like to talk about the internet censorship in China. Obviously, that's, uh, that we have the great fair wall for the internet. So, you cannot go to Google, YouTube, Twitter, and such Western websites directly. Oh, by the way, I think the point hub somehow is accessible sometimes. Yeah, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the topic. So personally, my experience with uh, internet censorship in China is is so-so. <laughs> why do I say that? Um, you know, if you are a person, if especially if you are a Chinese person and don't rely on those Western websites a lot, such as uh, you know the world-dominated English content websites like uh, Google, YouTube, and those websites, and Twitter, um, you wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel there is internet censorship. I mean because some people grow up in this kind of environment, right? So they don't see a lot of uh, uh, news or they don't, don't touch these political things from outside. So they wouldn't feel there is a, there is a strong censorship in China. I'll share with you guys some of my experience with uh, internet censorship in China. So the first story I want to share with you guys is that uh, my website, yeah. So uh, if you want to know the details, you can go to the video. I will put the link down below. But uh, long story short, um, the VPN is a keyword that you cannot put on the internet uh, because uh, you know because it's restricted. This this VPN, this term is restricted. You cannot put VPN in many websites. Also in your website, if you put VPN in your website and police will contact you directly, right? How do I know that? Check out my previous video. Okay, so um, the second story I want to share with you guys is my Weibo account. Weibo, Weibo is, a, is a Chinese social media platform that is a Twitter-like website and uh, many Chinese people use it because you can get it first-hand information. You know, a lot of people uh, use Weibo to, to do this and do that not only share about the daily daily lives they can use Weibo to um, to call the police yeah I'm not kidding anyway uh, the Weibo uh, what's the story with the Weibo my Weibo account was uh, suspended because I was uh, mentioned a person's name and the name and this person was uh, detained I believe in China because he was tagged as uh, anti-China guy and he's Chinese unfortunately mm, so my Weibo account was uh, suspended because I mentioned his name in uh, one of the other people's post on Weibo and there is no way you can get the account back so what did I do after that well get a new Weibo account and stop saying anything about the restricted world Okay, so the third story I want to share with you guys is that uh, uh, it's about the platform called Bilibili. It's also known as Bijan in China. It's a video website, video sharing website, and it's famous because you know many people use it because there's uh, no advertisement during a watch. I have uploaded a video on Bilibili, and uh, that video was about a church uh, that uh, you know I. The church I took, the event in the church that I took in New Zealand. There is one day I received this uh, notice saying that Locked. The video content involves inappropriate content and will not be approved. If you have any questions, please give feedback through the manuscript appeal. See the Billy Billy Creation Convention to learn more. There's another story I want to share with you guys. It's about the search result in China uh, for example you know a few weeks ago I was uh, I was thinking to go to a temple and uh, I what I what I did was uh, 
I put this temple's name on Baidu search engine and I got some results so I want to check if this temple was worthy to check out or not right so um, I searched I searched on Baidu also on Wikipedia what I found out was that you know the information I got from Baidu actually was revised there was some content lost it's about uh, you know cultural revolution in China so <laughs> Yeah, they deleted this content on Baidu back because you cannot, you are not allowed to put this content on, on the website. There's one website called Juhu, it's a question and answer website such as uh, Quora, if you know that one in English. Um, so I have written an article about uh, how to flash your uh, phone system uh, with, uh, with uh, you know, some tools. And that article was banned currently by the administrator for got no reasons. The message says the article is suggested to be revised, violation of relevant laws and uh, regulations. I don't know which particular law did I broke just by wrote this article. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. And uh, there's more. You know, there's one website called Bo Ke Yuan. Uh, it's blog blog park or blog garden oh, that kind of name <laughs> this website is basically about uh, sharing those uh, techniques and technology stuff you know like that um, so a few days ago while I was searching for some uh, programming stuff I, I got uh, I got this message from the website it says uh, they are checking themselves all those uh, blogs was uh, showing the same message well you know the problem is uh, internet censorship in China is that you don't know which word or which sentence or which term which name you cannot talk about until until you your article has been deleted or your account has been suspended otherwise you don't know the internet censorship is just demotivate people's feeling of sharing and uh, trigger their self censorship and I don't think it's a good thing. Alright guys, I think that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Have a good one.